And we welcome you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for our main event. 12 rounds of lightweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially... Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. Bam Bam's punch didn't come close. A shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. Yeah. You're doing what you're doing. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Big left hand. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instinct. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. job protecting himself. Good accuracy with that uppercut. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Able to show you his blocking ability. After he did the hurting, he's the one hurt. So simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. That's the kind of round that tells you all you need to know about what kind of fight this is. Back and forth action, both guys hurt. That's the kind of round that you better make sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in shape, because more to come. Good job staying away from the danger there. No, he missed that right. Gets rid of that effort. And he ties up on the inside. Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Bam Bam. Place left hand up top. One, two, one, two. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Bam, bam! Stunned and he is hurt. 
Hicks, big shot. Oh, what an uppercut that puts him down. but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Head movement, head movement. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Well, you can tell he's being patient, waiting for a countering opportunity. Teddy, what does he have to think about in laying that trap? Well, all he has to do is think a little bit like I do at tax season with my accountant. Good. <laughs> I don't want to go into that office. You know, my accountant's standing at the door. He's waiting for me to come in there. I don't want, I want a rebate. And that's what he wants. He wants a rebate. He wants a counter. He's stepping back and he's waiting for the guy to come to him. So he's the one who gets his way. Oh, and he's got something for him himself. And it's a left hand. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Little head hunting with the left. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Bam Bam. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Bam Bam's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. Just missed with that punch. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Nice. And now his opponent's going to have to try to figure out a way because he did a good job of backing him into that corner. Keep working the jab. Good. Good. Uppercut. Back to the body. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. Up top with the right hand. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Targeting that overhand left. Let's see some more head movement. Bam Bam's able to avoid that punch. Nice work, nice work. Solid left hand to the head. Showing you some defense there with the block. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Head and body, head and body. Last 10 seconds of round number three. This is turning into a wasted effort here as we reflect on the first three rounds and get a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. 
Yes, he's throwing punches, but nothing's landing clean. He's down on your scorecard, 3 zip. Yeah, he's wide open every time he throws, and he's getting caught counting, especially that right hand, right up the middle. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. And he engages in the clinch. Good block. That's what I want to see. Keep it up. Locks away that headshot. Bam Bam's combination punching is working well here. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Bam Bam, proving to be elusive. Teddy, it is such a gift that he has right here. We're seeing such a technically sound defensive fighter. Yeah, we are. You know, the old-time trainers would say, Teddy, he's doing the hard part. And that is the hard part, making the guy miss. Now Let's he has to start defense. doing the fun part, hitting him. One, two, one, two. Bam, bam. Making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. You got this one. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Bam Bam's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. <laughs> You gotta land a big punch now, champ. No doubt about it. You lose in this fight. You need to throw and land. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, Good to go. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Bam Bam's left, working well that time. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Oh, you're doing great. Get after him. Back to the body. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Bam Bam's punch is far off the target. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. In and Halfway out. into in round number five out. here. Not much action as he just ties up. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on, man. Good go. looking good right job. hand after he got hit. Back 
and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Bam Bam's killing me watching him here. I mean, he doesn't need a 20 by 20 ring. They could fight this thing in like a phone booth here. Now, he looks like one of those cars you see on the side of the road where they removed all the tires, all the wheels. He's not going anywhere. Keeps going. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Seconds to go in this round. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? judges he's a knockout victim now that's how you end a fight right there yes he was controlling throughout but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch, can a guy defend, you know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.